beloved friends here is your friend virendra dr in the land of peacocks you must be hearing their innocent clarion call reminding us arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached but to reach a goal in life we have to have a positive mental attitude personal initiative pleasing personality definite as a purpose and everything is born out of thought we will be what we will be because of our thought so we have to govern our thought we have to control our thought process which is really very challenging task the greatest mastery is over the controlling of our thought and always making right thought purity and thought that will be really leading to enlightenment wisdom happiness and peace of mind the universe grew out of thought matter in its last analysis is found to be merely manifested thought all men's accomplishments were first wrought out in thought and then manifested in the material world the author the inventor the architect the philosopher the prophets and all the wise men first built up his work in thought and having perfected in all its parts as a complete and harmonious whole upon the thought of plane he then commences to materialize it to bring it down to the material or sense plane when the thought forces are directed in harmony with over ruling law they are a building and preservative but when subverted they become disintegrating and self destructive so we have to be very very careful dear friends to adjust all your thoughts to a perfect and unswerving faith in the omnipotence and the supremacy of good is to cooperate with that good and to realize within yourself the solution and distractions of all evil believe and ye shall live and here we have the true meaning of salvation salvation from darkness and negation of evil by entering into and realizing the living light of eternal good where there is fear worry anxiety doubt trouble chagrin or disappointment there is ignorance and lack of faith all these conditions of mind are the direct outcome of selfishness and are based upon an inherent belief in the power and supremacy of evil they therefore constitute practical atheism and to live in and become subject to these negative and soul destroying conditions of mind is the only real atheism it is salvation from such conditions that the race needs and let no man boast of salvation whilst he is their helpless and obedient slave beloved friends my whole purpose of this conversation is to remind you that we should be always harboring noble thoughts great thoughts and great vision and ideals in our life and then we are really going to enjoy a life full of blessedness peace tranquility joys and all the material riches of the universe will be at our footsteps but for this we have to control our thought change our attitude if it is negative and make it positive and then we are going to be the blessed person and then we can say very strongly as william ernest henley said i am the master of my fate and i am the captain of my soul it is solely because of the reason of the fact that we have absolute control on our thought we are unconquerable invincible let's control our thought make it positive creative helping everyone sharing with everyone in the journey of life leading towards love fame fortune faith destiny thank you very much for watching this video